And uh, away they go from that 1800 meter mark. It looked like last year was a little bit slow into stride. Evo on toast is your early leader. Opera Glass is on the outside in the yellow colors and is a bit wide at this stage. Racing behind that is Rarotonga Rose and racing up on the far side of those is Apache Fighter. That's about four deep into the turn and at the rail is Peyton's Tears in the Blue. Then comes Bold Fortune, Rarotonga Rose, Red Sleeves and Striped Cap about four lengths off the leader. Then comes Ball Room Bliss and last year races at the back end of the field and there's about eight lengths covering them behind the bushes they go past the 1200 meter mark and Opera Glass has found the lead leads that by one length in second is Apache Fighter that's racing one off the rail. Avo on Toast is now relegated into third spot at the fence the grey colours then comes Rarotonga Rose followed further back by Peyton's Tears then comes behind that bold fortune towards the outside is Ballroom Bliss in the dark green and white colours and the trailer at the point in time is last cheer still got eight lengths to make up they're about to straighten up and head for the judge 800 meters to go and it's opera glass now joined up front by apache fighter then comes avo on toast behind that one rarotonga rose red sleeves is one off the rail races four lengths off the leader then comes peyton's tears bold fortune behind that ballroom bliss and behind that one is last cheer they straighten up now 500 meters left till the judge and in front is avo on Toast now picked up the lead. Bold Fortune is up the far inside. Got the white blinkers is right there. Peyton's Tears working its way through. Opera Glass in the yellow is down the center now. 200 meters from the judge. Bold Fortune. Opera Glass. Avo on Toast on the outside. Apache Fighter. Then comes Peyton's Tears and Rarotonga Rose. But it's Apache Fighter and Opera Glass fighting it out. Opera Glass. Apache Fighter. They come to the line. It's close. Opera Glass may have just got there from Apache Fighter. But it's very judge declared two has got it so number two opera glass is the winner according to the judge that's gavin lorena stephen moffat so that is opera glass it's in the middle of your picture in the yellow colors with a black cap apache fighters towards the answer that's muzieni gavin lorena going toe to toe and uh, opera glass prevails in the end so the numbers are 27184. Those are your numbers for the judge, or from the judge rather. All right, yeah, welcome back uh, to the winner's enclosure and uh, a very good ding-dong tussle between two very good jockeys being Gavin Larina and Muzi Yeni. It's going to go the way of Opera Glass. Well done, of course, to the combination of Julia Moffat to uh, Tommy Shaw, who's out here. We'll chat to Anthony in just a moment. Well done, Gav. I thought that was a terrific ride because, I mean, that was moved up on your outside, stays all days as a patchy fighter, but uh, she's gutsy, isn't she? She is, Bren. Um, what a gutsy one from a, a winner full of heart and uh, it was never going to be easy today with the 60 kilos and uh, we're in a bit of a catch-22 because she needed a good pace um, so I made her work today from the jump uh, went a good gallop up front and I kept increasing it the whole way and uh, you know Muzi got up to me at about the, the 300 and uh, he went past me but uh, when I asked my filly she came back and Muzi headed me again and she came back again so it was a win full of heart. Look, yeah, this is what racing's all about. Um, I know it's probably not what you guys want because it makes you work that little bit extra, but I think as a racing fanatic, I mean, it's just great for racing to see two very good jockeys going hammer and tong. Yeah, it's, uh, look, I've had a couple too many seconds lately, so <laughs> it's, it's nice to, to get, get one back. Yeah, yeah, get one back and get that ball rolling again. Um, but yeah, it was a, a great finish. Um, both horses gave their all. Uh, Muzi was screaming and shouting next to me, and... Uh, it was great that my horse got there. Gav, yeah, what happens now in the jockey room? Guys have a few words, a bit of banter? <laughs> Always, just to keep the sport alive? I think Muzi will be in his locker like a little mouse, very quiet at this stage. Gav, yeah, top right. <laughs> Good to see you as always. Um, I know that uh, you've obviously got chances throughout the afternoon and we're hoping yeah. to chat again. Thank you very much, Ben. Hope to see you. Uh, well done to Tom Shaw. Uh, we go back such a long way and it's great to win for him again. To Mr. Dalport, well done. And to the Moffat family, well done. 
to Mr. Moffat and Anthony. It's always a beautiful to ride for them, and it's extra special when I win for them. Well done, Gavin Larina. That was great for racing. Good to watch. Now we're going to chat to uh, Stephen Moffat. Stevie, come a little bit closer. I promise I don't bite. Um, uh, wonderful. I mean, when we were watching going through the 200, uh, like I was saying to Gavin, two very good jockeys, and you use both. Uh, you know that um, you've got Musi at the back on Meet the Captain, uh, but when you see these two titanic jockeys getting into that struggle, it's you don't know which way it's going to go at the end. Yeah, look, it's always great to have the top jockeys on the horses. A pitch of a ride from Gavin. She's all hot, this me. She's, I'm so proud of her. She's, I think this is her ninth win now. And a great ride from Gavin to get her to get back up over the 1800. Uh, look, she's all hot. She is all hot. She's done you so proud, Mr. Moffat. I mean, she stays. Uh, you've got her competitive, uh, even at trips of 18, 2,000 meters. And if you want to go further, she also runs her heart out. So you must just be delighted to have a hard knocking footy like this on your hands. Yeah, definitely. And uh, never gives me a day's problem at work. She's bouncing out of her skin and she just wants to race. I'm very glad that Tommy made it and to Mr. Delport and to my lovely wife, Julia, at the farm. Very well done, and I think she can still win some more. Does Tommy ever give you a few grey hairs? No, not at all. Tommy's actually very, very, very nice owner to have in the yard, and Pete as well. And uh, don't leave my other two horses out, especially meet the captain and in cahoots in the quartets. I do want to ask you about meet the captain, because last time out... Um I'm not going to say an indifferent sort of run because they went very fast on that occasion and she was low flying that last 200 metres. So you must be hoping today she'll get it right. Yeah, if she's in the shake-up and with about 400 to go, she, she will finish off the race very strong and I'm expecting her to go close. Have you told Dougie to have a small nibble? Yeah, no, Dougie, he, he'll back it even if she's 100 to 1. So. <laughs> no, but she'll run very well. Well done, Mr Moffat. Thank you very much. There we go. That's uh, Stephen Moffat. I must say well done to Anthony Moffat as well behind the camera. He does a good job uh, for the team. Tommy, lovely to see you. I know that uh, we haven't spoken for quite some time in the winner's box, but, um, I mean, when you get into that sort of battle, you got Gavin on top. Uh, you must have said, boys, we've won it. Yes, what can I say? I've got to be honest, I got you one minute before the race. I was racing down here. I had some business as I had to sort out this morning. Well done to you, to Gavin, one of the best jockeys in the country. Just love Gavin's riding, absolutely brilliant. Stephen Moffat, I mean, this horse, you've already said it now, has been a brilliant, brilliant horse, our best horse ever. Um, any wins from 1800 all the way to 24, 26. I mean, this horse is always giving its best. So just a pleasure to have. And that's why I raced down here. I actually thought it had a good chance today. Um, yes, and Stephen Moffat, thank you very much. Um, my partner, Pete. We miss you. I know Pete's working hard, and uh, yeah, I wish he was here. Just one more thing I'd like to maybe just address this. It's maybe not the platform for it, but somebody in racing needs to come and have a look at the vol. This place needs a decent paint. It needs some TVs. It needs some work. Some money's got to come be put into this place. It's been years and years that nothing's been done to this place. I'll probably get into trouble for this, but somebody's got to stand up and say it. Well done, Mr. Shaw. Thank you very much. Good to see you as always. Thank you. All right, so it's back to business as usual for uh, Tommy Shaw. Lovely to see him as always. And, uh, of course, to the Delports. Uh, well done to Julia Moffat, to Stephen and Anthony Moffat behind the camera. Well played. They deserve a top ride, Gavin Larina. And uh, not taking away from Apache fights, I thought that also was given a peach of a ride by Musi Yeni. All right, so we continue with live racing. Race five's done and dusted, which means the jackpot one is done and dusted. If you like the look of jackpot two, that starts in race number six. Thanks.